Hello everyone, this is Donnie Rocket and I have a video for you from Music City Indoor Karting. This is my second visit to this facility, maybe even my third, but my second review at least. I put a video out back in uh, May of 2016 from a visit I took down there and um, I believe since then the layout has changed maybe multiple times. So I'll get right into it, you know, we just took off. Typically on an electric cart track, they don't run you full throttle fresh out of the gate. They wait till everybody's on the track and then they turn you up. So right now we're probably at like, you know, half to three quarters percent power. And when we come around down past the finish line down here, I think the guy cranks us up. But, um, like I said, these are electric carts. Uh, one thing I noticed that it's, um, I'd say me medium grip at this place. It's got a little bit of slide, which, you know, to me makes it fun. You have to have a decent amount of finesse when the track is a little bit slippery. Um, you have to get good at putting the, uh, the power down, trying to keep straight lines and managing the slide, basically. So like I said, this is my first lap. I've stepped on it. Well, that's probably my third lap. This is my first session this time around. And I'm trying to figure out the, the line. As you'll see towards the end of the video, I definitely make some changes from what's going on right now. Right now I'm just trying to figure out where I have grip. I'm just also trying to evaluate whether sliding is fast or slow. You know, sometimes there's there's track you know, typically, you know, the theory is you don't want to slide because you're just you know, you're losing time and traction, but there are slight nuances to sliding around stuff, kicking the back end out, things like that where you don't really lose time. Had to get a little traffic in there. This is uh, this is my second heat right now. I don't think she knew I was there because you know the carts are not super loud. They're they're electric, so they operate somewhat quietly. She didn't know I was next to her, so she pinched me in the wall. But you know she was uh, courteous when I came back past her. But right now I've, I've I've kind of you know established what I think is the quick line. I will find out a little bit later that this is not the fast line. Fortunately, you know, I know one of the guys uh, employed here at uh, Music City Indoor Karting, and actually I think he may have been pretty instrumental in this in this layout right now, in, in the track layout. And I've raced him up here in Cincinnati before and, you know, seen him here in other places. He's also reviewed a decent amount of the tracks I've been at. But he just, he came out with me, and he, that's him right in front of me. So he's showing me the fast way around. And you'll see it's 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 a little bit different than what I was doing before. Some of the corners are taken a, a bit wider. Uh, you know, the entry is, is is farther out than what I was doing. And you know, he's already gapping me right there. So he slows down a little bit here and there to let me kind of get back up, so I can still see what it, what what, he, what he's doing. I think for that day, you know, my goal was to try to be you know get the fastest time of the day. And there was a, but the, when I got there, it was a Friday afternoon. A lot of people had been there. The, the list was quite long. But Wes, you know, he's also got, you know, I should give a shout out to his channel. It's a Fortress of Solid Dudes. He's got a lot of uh, track reviews on his channel. Some tracks I haven't been to. We do have some over overlapping coverage, but, you know, we each provide a little bit different commentary when we do commentary. And in all honesty, uh, usually he's a couple of, couple of tenths faster than me it seems like so he's got a little bit uh he may have a little bit better you know line uh knowledge than me so anyways on this day my goal was to get on the top you know times of the day so Wes got out there to help me out he ran a 28.398 and I ran a 28.841 as my fastest time And I think my second fastest time will be on this video. I don't think that I got my fastest time on here. I might have accidentally trimmed it out, but shortly he's gonna fall in behind me and I'm just gonna run around by myself. And the very last lap that you'll see is, is very close to my fastest time. It's a 28.877, so it's just a couple of hundredths off of my fastest time. So you know, roughly the, the line is gonna be something that if you can fine tune like I said I don't have a lot of laps on this track you know I, I live in Cincinnati Wes he's the man he's got he, he does the leagues there he's got quite a few videos on his Fortress of Solid Dudes channel um, from this track 
going frontwards and backwards. So if this is your home track, you know, besides looking at my video, I would I would highly recommend looking at some of the videos on the Fortress of Solid Dudes channel. But we're coming down to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hope you enjoyed my brand new header, although I forgot to put uh, the information about where this track is in the video itself, but it will be in the comments or the description on the video. So anyways, I will have one more video coming up in the near future from the National Corvette Museum. They've got an outdoor track there, and I busted out a few laps on this same trip when I went down to Nashville. So, feel free to leave some comments. Everybody have a good one. Stay out of those plastic barriers. Adios.